Blackview BL 8800 Pro versus the Doji V20, which of the two devices is best? In this video, we're going to find out. But before I move on, I'd like to thank you guys for your support. We recently hit 8,000 subscribers. The milestone we are aiming for is 10k subscribers. And I'll probably do a giveaway once we hit 10k subscribers. But once again, thank you guys for your support. And if you're new here and you wish to support the channel, all you gotta do is subscribe. It is absolutely free. So without further ado, let's continue with the video. So both the Blackview BL 8800 Pro and the Doji V20 has rugged designs, but the Doji V20's design is very, very different. A lot of you guys may not be aware that the Doji V20 has two design variants. There's the carbon fiber texture finish variant, and there's another variant that uses AG Frost Tech to achieve a glossy textured finish. At the back of the Black VBL 8800 Pro, there is a camera module that houses different camera lenses and a flash. At the back of the Doji V20, there is a module that houses different camera lenses, a flash and a red display. Both the Doji V20 and the Black VBL 8800 Pro has metal frames. On the right side of both devices is a power button and volume keys. On the left side is a customizable key and SIM slot. Moving on to display, so the BL8800 Pro has a 6.58 inch Full HD Plus IPS teardrop display, while the Doji V20 has a 6.43 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED dot display or punch hole display. The BL8800 Pro has a taller display definitely but the Doji V20 has a much more better panel. As we all know, people prefer AMOLED to IPS. Both devices has Gorilla Glass protection. The BL8800 Pro and the Doji V20 are powered by the Dimensity 700 chip, which means the performance of both devices would be very, very similar. The BL8800 Pro has 8GB RAM and 128GB storage. The storage could be expanded up to 512GB using an SD card. The Doji V20 has 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. The storage could also be expanded. As you can see, the Doji V20 has a much more bigger storage than the BL8800 Pro. So moving on to cameras, the BL8800 Pro has quad cameras. A 50MP main camera, it is the Samsung Isocell GN1 sensor, followed by a 5 megapixel and a 2 megapixel depth camera. It also has a separate thermal imaging camera. The Doji V20 has triple cameras. It has a 64 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel night vision camera, and an 8 megapixel wide angle camera. Both devices has a 16 megapixel front camera. Both devices ships with the Android 11 OS, and I think Doji will receive the Android 12 update, but I haven't actually confirmed it. There is no word from Blackview about the BL8800 Pro receiving Android 12. Moving on to battery, the BL8800 Pro is backed up by a huge 8380 mAh battery with 33 watts fast charging. While the Doji V20 has a 6000 mAh battery and it has 33 watts fast charging. It also supports 15 watts wireless charging. The BL8800 Pro doesn't support wireless charging. They both support NFC. And just like many other rugged devices, they are both rated IP68 and IP69K. And as regarding price, the BL8800 Pro costs about 299. I think that's the official price. The V20 also costs 299. They're both available on AliExpress. So which of the two devices do you guys think is best? The BL8800 Pro or the Doji V20? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.